Okay, here we're going to be looking at chromatography, and this is an example he shown here of paper chromatography, but a lot of the same uh, basic components will apply to different types and forms of chromatography. So first off, here should def uh, provide a definition of chromatography. It's a separation technique based on different interactions or affinities of compounds with two phases. A mobile phase, as the name implies, it moves in a stationary phase. And that's a compound that stays fixed in place and that is on a supporting medium. These interactions are usually chemical in nature, but can also, uh, in some cases, be physical. Uh, and what you typically end up with, at least in paper chromatography, is what you see kind of right over here is those kind of bands that occur of different color separations. So just to get into some of those terms with a little bit more detail provided, uh, the affinity is a natural attraction force between things. The mobile phase is the solvent that flows through the supporting medium. So we could see here's that solvent, here's that solvent front, that's where it's traveling, that's its furthest point of travel. We have the stationary phase, which is a layer or coating on the supporting medium that interacts with the sample. It's like the coating on the paper. The paper itself is considered the supporting medium, and that's the solid surface where the stationary phase is bound to or um, is coated onto. Uses for chromatography is particularly um, expands beyond forensic science. Uh, but it can analyze components of mixtures based on known values. It can allow separation of components in order to isolate one of interest for further study. It's also used to determine the amount in a mixture in our components present in a sample, and it can be very precise. Illustration of chromatography in general, as I mentioned, there's kind of mixed components there. You have this mixture, you have a mobile phase, that mobile phase is going to move up, and here you have that moving up of the mobile phase of the solvent, as we can refer back to here. Uh, this is our um, solvent moving up through that um, medium. So that solvent that we see here moving allows that mixture, or wants to be a mixture, to then be separated into its individual components. So how may this look? Well, if we're kind of looking at paper chromatography, again, as an example, we have a piece of paper. We have some colors. We, in this case, we have red, blue, and green. We're going to put that into a container, and we're going to put a solvent in it. That solvent line will be there, and that kind of allows us to put the colors above that solvent, and this is naturally going to want to wick up through this uh, stationary phase. So that mobile phase will work its way up through, and we can see those colors in this example will separate out. And at the very top here, this is our solvent front, and we can quantify this by measuring to determine how far these particular um, colors moved and what signatures or chemical properties they may have.